Hi. Uh, there have been several requests about uh, recommending some books for Maths Olympiad and JE Advanced. So this video is just going to do that. I'm going to uh, use all my experience to think of oh, what are the best ways to study for both Olympiads and JE Advanced. And I'm going to tell you a list of books that you need to get and you need to refer to these books to prepare for the, both these things very well. So let's begin with Maths Olympiads. Uh, as you all are probably aware of, uh, the Olympiads tests four different topics. One is geometry. I'm going to try to recommend a small number of books for each topic. So hopefully three or four books for each topic and nothing more than that. So for geometry, these are my recommendations. One is EGMO by Ivan Chen, Euclidean Geometry in Maths Olympiads. This is very good. Uh, might be a little advanced, but you can definitely look at that. The second is Secrets of Triangles, Secrets of Triangles by Alfred S. Possum and Tier. Alfred. This is a nice book. It has a lot of theorems that you might not otherwise encounter. And the final book that I'll recommend for geometry is College Geometry by Nathan Adschiller Court. College, College Geometry by Nathan Adschiller Court. So, so these are three very good references for geometry. You will not need anything more than this. Like whatever is here in this, if you can master even 50, 60% of that, that will be enough for geometry for Olympiads. Uh, moving on, let's go on to combinatorics. Combinatorics, basically, I can also list down three books for this. Uh, this is, first one is Counting by Kim and Koch. That is a very nice and easy paced book. You can definitely follow that. Then there is Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics. Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics. That is by Chong. This is World Scientific Publications. And finally, A Path to Combinatorics for Undergraduates. Path to Combinatorics. This is by T2 Andrescu. It's a very good book. The third book is the most advanced here. Uh, however, you can definitely follow the first two and then go to this. So these are enough for combinatorics for an Olympiad perspective. Uh, if you go to number theory, I have another three recommendations here. Number theory, three recommendations are basically, first one is a friendly introduction to number theory by Joseph Silverman. Friendly introduction to number theory by Joseph Silverman. Then there is modern Olympiad number theory, Mont by Aditya Khurmi. That's a nice book, Modern Olympiad Number Theory. That's good. And finally, Number Theory, Concepts and Structures, Structure and Problems by Titu Andrescu. So I'll just write it on the next screen, probably. So the third book for Number Theory is, Number Three is Number Theory, Structure and Problems. Structure and Problems by Andrescu. So this is also a slightly advanced book. You should go through Silverman and Modern Olympiad Number Theory before you try to attempt this. Slightly harder here. Uh, then lastly, we have Algebra. For Algebra, the first two books that I will recommend are both called Higher Algebra. Higher Algebra by Hall and Knight. Hall and Knight. And by Bernard Child. Bernard and Child. 
these two are both called higher algebra these are very nice books you can refer to this even from a je advanced perspective then i would like to you to go through polynomials by ej barbeau this is a slightly advanced book but i will be covering most of it in my polynomials and theory of equations course so you can follow that playlist for more details on this so i'll be following that book here so you can use that uh, also apart from that uh, for algebra there are some special portions where you might need like inequalities and functional equations these portions you might need separate books here so for inequalities uh, there are many books but vasile sertoaje has several books on inequalities so there is one book called old and new inequalities which is, which is written by this guy plus t2 and prescu that is very nice there are many other books here uh, you can also follow bj venkatchala's inequality book that is also good uh these are the inequality books and functional equations again you can follow bj venkatchala's functional equation book it might be a little difficult to do you can also go to christopher small's functional equation book christopher small he also has a functional equation book so that these are special topics for which you need some reference material so these are good reference materials for this uh that brings me to the end of the uh, olympiad section uh you might have questions like sir what about pathfinder and so on so pathfinder at least the senior pathfinder or the one by sheshan and tiwari that one is a good problem resource it's a problem book i'm not listing out problem books here so you can do a lot of questions from here and that will help you definitely uh, but i would not recommend reading it for theory like theory is fine but it is very concise and you might you will be better served by going to a proper theory book so that's why what the books that i'm rep rep referencing here are theory books which will be useful in general for everything i'm not talking about just problem books there are many problem books available in the market okay so those are not books that i'm rep referencing here so this is good uh, challenge and thrill of pre college mathematics that is also okay but i have never used it so i will not say anything about that book so however i have seen all of these other books so these are very good so you should definitely follow these recommendations uh, i will move on to the je advanced section for je advanced pcm this is my recommendation physics chemistry and maths pcm this is my recommendation first and foremost here is hcv volume 1 and 2 then you can go through problems in erodo problems in general physics then mechanics by david morin mechanics by david morin some portions of electrodynamics by david griffith electrodynamics by david griffith you will not be able to do the entire thing but parts of it you can do and that will help you definitely uh then there is vibrations and waves by ap french vibrations and waves by ap french and lastly uh, i want you guys to go through all the je archives so for, there are books like 41 years solved solved je advanced problems right so those kinds of books which are in the market 41 years solved je advanced or 30 years solved je advanced papers those books will be very useful so i won't want to recommend more than this you can supplement this with maybe university physics by sears and zamanski that is university physics by sears and zamanski is a good book so you can use that you can use also use halliday resnick walker or crane as well 
but I would not want to list them out. These are more than enough. People have gotten into IIT just doing these two. So these will just supplement everything. You need to do this though. Last 40 years or last 30 years of JE advanced problems. That is important. You have to do this and you have to do this. So moving on to chemistry, chemistry, I recommend theory books separately and problem books separately for theory. McMurray-Fe general chemistry is very good. General chemistry, sixth edition. Uh, then uh, J.D. Lee for inorganic, J.D. Lee concise inorganic chemistry. Don't buy, buy the Indian version, the ones where they have Indian authors. That has been tampered with. I would want you to read the original one. That is very good. Uh, then for organic, either use Paula Brois or Jonathan Clayden. Actually, there are several other good options also, but Paula Brois, Jonathan Clayden are fine. You could also use McMurray Fay again, if you like that guy's writing, uh, or you could also use Morrison and Boyd. Morrison and Boyd is what I studied in way back in 2007, 2005 to 2007. That was when I was preparing and this is the book that I followed, but these are newer and fresher. And so you might like to use those. So that is also good. Uh, for other things in chemistry, what I want you to uh, do is problem books by problem books. There are many in the market, but you can go by Narendra Avasthi, VKJ, VK Jaiswal and MSC or MS Chauhan. So they have separate problem books for physical, inorganic, organic. So you can refer to these books for practice, but don't try to read theory from here. This is not a theory section. Theory should be read only from these standard books. Okay. Uh, then lastly, you should do advanced, advanced problems last 30 years and so on. Advanced problems. Basically, JE archives last 41 years. The same thing that was here, here, last 41 years solved papers. So that is something that you should definitely do for all three subjects if you're preparing for JE advanced. Uh, for maths, things are fairly simple here. SL Loney for coordinate and trigonometry, coordinate geometry plus trigonometry. You can for calculus, there are multiple options. You can do Sengage, Sengage for calculus by G. Thivani, or you can, you should do IA Maron problems in calculus in one variable. And you can also go through Samir Bansal's problems in calculus book. That is good. So these are books that will be enough for the calculus section. Uh, and apart from that, you can also go for Sengage Algebra. Sengage Algebra is also good. Sengage Algebra, Sengage Calculus. And finally, you can go through the last 41 years advanced problems. So last many years advanced problems, you can definitely look at. That is common across physics, chemistry, and maths. So that is something that you can look at also. So basically coordinate geometry and trigonometry from SLONI. Calculus and Algebra from Sengage or from these other books, I.A. Maron, Samir Bansal. You can even get Arihant books for Calculus and uh, Algebra. So basically, it will be by Amita Megarwal or S.K. Goel. So those are good. And finally, you can go to uh, last 41 years solved problems for a general revision of the whole syllabus. So I hope you understand. These are my recommendations. If you have any doubts, you can leave them in your comment section and stay tuned for more videos and more content.